What would it take to make $200,000 as a freelance motion designer in 2024? Some may consider this a ridiculous question given the fact that the last 18 months or so have been some of the worst the industry has ever experienced. But I figure if we can answer the question, what does it take to make 200,000? It will inform others who might not be that ambitious, at least unlock some questions about how can I find more work more frequently at better rates and not have this massive roller coaster of feast and famine that so many are experiencing right now. Let's dive into this. For a little bit of context in 2021, I set out to answer the question, can a motion designer make $200,000 from freelance? The answer ended up being yes. At the end of the year, I had made over $200,000 and that was super exciting. <laughs> I more than doubled my income that I had ever made in a year. So I'm like, sweet, figured something out. So in 2022, I decided project 200K goal is to make 200,000, but take three months off. I didn't end up taking the full three months off. I was able to take two months off, but I also got to go on a vacation during that time. We had also moved to New York City so we could afford to live in Manhattan, go on vacation, take time off. It was beautiful. I've always been a teacher as well. I used to teach an animation course and run a motion design membership. So I decided that I want to also get back into teaching. So I took a lot of the year of 2023 to build and run a program called Plus 25K. The idea here is I bring in 10 students at a time, help them build their CRMs, build their positioning, their online presence, build up a list of leads and clients and start connecting with people and sharing your voice and your opinion online. Lots of different things, all with the pursuit of helping them make an extra $25,000. So that has been awesome. We've had some really good success with students. But as the year 2023 kept going, I was like, man, there's something changing. And everybody starts noticing that there's a lot of people saying like, hey, I don't have any work. What's going on? Turns out 2023 was one of the worst years in the history of motion design. And so the gears have been going in my head and I'm like, okay, well, I made 200,000 maybe when things were easier. So let's dive in and take a little bit of a look at the past, the present, and mm, the future. Here's how we're going to break this down. 2022, 2023, and 2024. It's not exact science, but in 2022 and a bit before that, it was definitely a freelancer's market. In 2023, it's become a client's market. In 2024, question mark? We're already a good ways into it, but since I'm relaunching Project 200K, let's talk about the future. So what made 2022 and the years leading up to it a freelancer's market? Well, it was a few things. One, companies had free money. Interest rates were extremely low. And so companies could borrow money and not have to worry about paying it back on a super crazy interest. So they borrowed a lot of money to run big campaigns, to do new initiatives, which brought in a lot more work for freelancers. And the freelancer pool was much more skimpy back then. Studios all the time were talking about how it's hard to find good, reliable freelancers for all of the projects they had going on, which also made it a little bit easier to charge higher rates. And then there's the whole NFT thing. There were a not insignificant number of motion designers making decent money from NFTs and deciding to pull themselves out of the freelance pool. They weren't taking on projects anymore. They were making money from NFTs. So all of these things led to the people who were good, reliable freelancers. You could be booked as much as you wanted to be if you were just connected to the right people. And now let's talk about 2023. What a year. Uh, let's call this one a client's market. So what made 2023 and 2024 so far pretty bad years? Remember how I talked about that free money in 2022? Well, that's kind of gone now because as inflation started to spike, the Fed raised interest rates a ton, and that caused a bunch of these tech companies to stop borrowing all this money so they're not injecting it into projects, which hires a lot of freelancers. And then on top of that, a lot of these tech companies decided, like, we need to stay profitable and make like look really good to our shareholders. So they started laying off tons of people. Uh, since 2023, over 300,000 people have been laid off. And a portion of that is motion designers. So what does that mean? <laughs> the talent pool for freelance motion designers is bigger. 
there are it's bigger because the there are online courses and YouTube channels that train and make it easier to get into motion design. And on top of that, the talent pool is full because of people getting laid off, people deciding to go freelance, lots of different reasons that there are more freelancers and less work to go around. Not to mention several studios shut their doors. Agencies have been building in-person or in-house teams. So there's just like less work coming to the studios and the budgets aren't as good. So it's just a kind of a bad recipe for freelance motion designers out there. Okay. So I know I'm painting kind of a bleak picture here, but it's a little better to know what's going on to a certain extent. Not that I claim to know everything, but you know, we want to know what's going on so that we can fix the problem. Okay. So now we're back in the future. It's 2024. The effects of 2023 are still impacting this year. At the end of the year, we may look back and go, yeah, this was just as bad or worse than 2023. I can't say for sure, but I want to be building in better practices and dive back into freelance so that I can answer that question. What does it take to be a thriving freelancer, making plenty of money and having time and space to create the things you want, enjoy the life that you're living, etc. So here's the question again. What does it take to make $200,000 as a freelance motion designer in 2024? What do I predict will be different in 2024 and potentially going forward? I'm predicting that I get fewer big studio gigs. I've gotten a few this year, but it has not been the same as before. Also, I haven't really been pursuing freelance work as much lately. So as I get back into it, we'll see what happens, but that's one of my predictions. I also predict working more with video production studios and direct clients. I like doing both of those things in the last few years. I've done less of it, so I'm interested in getting back into it. And I see that studios just don't have quite as much work out there as it is. And I think something that no one could have predicted was the return of the mullet. Not that I ever had one before, but rocking it now. What does the 2024 version of Project 200K look like? Well, the short-term goal is to make 16, 666 a month. That's basically multiply that by 12. You're going to get about 200K. I'm starting this in May, my, my new like Project 200K goal. So it doesn't make sense to try to aim for 200,000. Plus I want to be teaching and coaching and doing my program. So I'm going to take time off from freelancing here and there anyways. But when I'm, when I am actually freelancing, I want to be making the pace of 200K. I've got two long-term goals for Project 200K as well. And that is to work with clients and on projects that I love. The last two years, I took pretty much everything I could to make the money. And I ended up working with lots of cool people and lots of cool projects, but I want to be able to say no and really hone in on the kind of work that I actually want to be doing day to day. Long-term goal number two is to do a four day work week. A lot of people talk about it. A few people try it and even fewer succeed and do it long-term. I anticipate that being a difficult challenge, but I'm down for it. And I want to see how that goes. I have no deadline on either of those two long-term goals but I definitely want to hit the short-term goal as soon as possible. So if you're interested in following along with my personal journey of trying to make $200,000 as a freelance motion designer in the year 2024, hit subscribe. I also run a program called Plus 25K where I help freelancers today build systems so that they can make an extra $25,000 in freelance income. Would love to have you. Links are below if you want to check anything out. See you in the next video. Have a good one.